You're already making、uh, some artwork for your, your fourth EP. <laughs> and I like how you're making EPs. You know what I mean? And, and I don't know if an album is going to happen one day or not, but it's also 2017. And、um, it seems to me like I've, I've never made music myself.、Um, I would love to. That'd be cool. But like, wrapping my head around the idea of putting together 10 to 13 songs at once in this day and age, it seems pretty daunting. But releasing, I don't know, five or six at a、yeah. time. I think maybe that's where we're going again, right? Maybe. Maybe. I think, like, if you look at albums now, like, they're, they're getting so big. And, like, pe- I guess people want, like, people listen to songs, like, more often, I guess, maybe than listening to albums. Like, they'll go on playlists and go on Spotify and, or Apple Music, whatever, and listen to, like, individual songs.、Mm-hmm. Um, like, I rarely listen to a whole album, full album. But, th- But then when I do, I absolutely love doing it and I won't listen to anything else. So I'm excited to make an album. But yeah, it's quite daunting. Any records right now that are current, that are、Ooh. released that you're into, albums、um, wise? Oh my God, I'm so bad at this. I just I forget every band.、Um, oh, okay.、Uh, James Blank's new album is pretty good. It's very good. The last song on the album, I've never listened to it without crying. <laughs> so sad. Meet Me in the Maze. Meet You in the Maze. Mm hmm.、Um, What else have I been listening to? I can't think of any albums. I have been listening to music. Sure.、Um, I get the same thing, by the way. People ask me that question working in radio, and I'll even sometimes get a, a call or asking about a song I play, and they'll sing it. And I'm like, what is that again? I played it an hour ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, duh. It's 1975 or whatever. You know what I mean? It just kind of comes right up.、So. Their album's pretty good, too. It's a good record. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a good record.、Um, You're signed to their label, right? Or the same label they're on, Dirty Hit? Yeah, we're, we're very good friends. I've known them for like. I don't know. So long. Is that right? <laughs> so long. How did that happen?、Um, I just met them through like a friend and then just became friends with them.、Um, this was when, that was when they were playing their first like l- big London show, for, which was at the time was Barfly, which is like 200.、Mm-hmm, sure. It was big for them at the time. That's how small they were. It was so cute. And they're, now they're like so big. It's ridiculous. Yeah.、Um, I don't think of any other albums. I can't actually. I can't think of any. Oh, Bonnie v e r s album, obviously. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah.、Um, I can't decide if I. I think I'd prefer his second album, though. The self titled one? Where he、yeah. won all the, al- all, the, all the Grammy Awards and whatnot? Yeah, I think, I think I'd prefer that. I don't know. I haven't listened to the. They're, they're all very different, though. And that second record was a little more. Like the first one was very acoustic based and、mm. kind of just pretty songs. And the second one was really experimental and、yeah. out of control. And, it was.、Um, in a good way. And I, I, I hear some of that with what you're doing. I, I, I kind of keep repeating myself saying that, but it's just eclectic, forward thinking music is something I, I really appreciate. And you're doing that. That's why I wanted to come in and talk to you, just to kind of pick your brain about you know, your process and, and how you're putting these songs together. Three EPs deep already. Face Like Thunder is a song we play quite a bit.、Um, how do these songs come together for you? What's your process going into making a record?、Um, it takes me a long time to actually like, finish a song because I, ha- I just start songs. And then I have the attention span of like a three year old. So I would just like move on to the next one. And then, like, the, the EPs are quite weird because some of the songs, like, I'd written maybe a week before I picked pick the track list for it.、Mm-hmm. And then some of the songs I'd written like five years ago or something.、Um, like, Face Like Thunder, I wrote like three years ago. Is that right? Yeah. And、um, my, my manager kept kind of like, Begging me to finish it, and I was just like, Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then I finally did. That was like the one your manager thought that was the one, kind of. Yeah, he was just like, Please finish it, Amber. <laughs> Please just finish one song. I was like, Oh, maybe. Right. <laughs> I finally did. um And then some, yeah, I guess like other songs, they're like the newest ones, so I like them the best at the time, so I picked them. Sure. To go on the EP. But I, bet I, wrote, I mainly produce stuff like on my laptop. um And. I go into the studio and kind of do like vocals and like we're on a proper microphone and stuff because, yeah, because I have such a bad attention span, I usually just like <laughs> on the demos just record a horrible vocal and then just like tune it really badly. Okay. I'm bored to sing it twice. Experimenting. Like, Apple headphone mic or something.、Um, yeah, and then I mix it with、um, George from 1975. We mix it together. Oh, cool. Or, I guess we produce it together. It's like a co production kind of thing.、Um, and yeah, and then I. Release it. <laughs> Then I go and take some photos in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. And 
release another EP. That's cool you have that connection with 1975 and Dirty Hit and being signed to that label. Um, they're a band that our listeners are crazy about. Like you mentioned, they've gotten so big out of, yeah. kind of out of nowhere. Um, and I'm seeing that a lot with alternative bands these days, whether it was like Imagine Dragons started as a small indie band and then a year later they were doing arenas and I think of like the Black Keys and stuff. So it's a really good time for, for the genre. Um, how did so you you mentioned that you have a friend who knew the band a little bit, but you I think you've toured with the 1975 as well. Or have, you're going yeah. to or I've toured with them a lot, like I probably for about the like, most majority of last year. <laughs> That's when I bring. What's it like playing for those fans? Because I, from my experience, even giving away tickets to their shows, I mean their fans are yeah, they're, so into them. They're, yeah, they're, um, it's great playing to them because I feel like I've had a really uh, kind of warped vision of what it's like to warped experience of what it's like to support someone because their fans are so like obsessive and loyal and love them so much that whoever's supporting them like they'll go away like learn all the words like I don't know become like a fan like I felt it wasn't like I was support I don't know it felt like I was supporting a ba- a fan base that kind of knew a little bit about me which was nice oh good that's cool um and yeah like just very like receptive audience and just lovely, lovely, um, like fun people. Sure. But they're, like, they're obviously like all very young, which I think is fun in a crowd because, yeah, like dance and stuff. <laughs> yeah, they're actually into the show and yeah. not just folding their arms the whole time. Exactly. Yeah. Like me at 